the last time I saw you in person, you were about to like you're about to fight an entire gang. Liam oh, yeah. went completely rogue, <laughs> completely rogue. Man, that fool had the pints in him. <laughs> ready for action, bro. RIP, my brother Caddy. This yeah. fool Liam was about to like fight fifteen Crips alongside Caddy, bro. Like, <laughs> not a word of a lie. That is a true story. I forgot about all that shit. What a wild night! People passed out with their ass out. Multi in the wild, crazy. passed yeah. out with their ass out. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Sounds Like, the only panel show that's all about rhymes. I am your host of the panel show with a cup of lean and a puff of weed, it's Shuffle Tea! <laughs> Hi! Now joining me, as always in Rhyme Square, it's the Lazy Geese from Ancient Greece, it's Jamie Blaze. You looking forward to this episode, mate? Yeah, let's go. As it's our 10th of the season, shall we admit you can't get enough? Pledge of Allegiance, we're alphas in this like Starsky and Hutch. It's our director called Liam, our scouser that switched, disaster and lush. Yes, yeah. mm. scouser that switched. Okay, now we've yeah. got some Calcium. guests with us today, so let's do the interfunctions. Um, he's got big arms, so it's hard to be his gym partner, could lift larger things than the sword of King Arthur. No, it's not Nick Carter, it's disaster. Mm. Right? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the intro still? That's the intro. <laughs> and then we're like, yeah, yeah. This it's is the only fun. intro longer than when I'm hosting a battle. I love it, dude. <laughs> Here we go. Yo, Shuffle Man, the multi-intro king. Here for some fun, my very own bum chum. It's the legend of the scene, Mr. Lush One. <laughs> bum chum. <laughs> bum chum. Let's go. <laughs> He's back in his home base. It's the king of the Scousers, O'Shea. Let's go, mate. Oh, and it's the twat that's from hell. He can't rap, he's a melt. Hope he gets slammed in a cell. It's the linguistic loser, the ruiner of rhymes, the wordplay wanker, Bagnell himself. Mm. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's turning this into a battle, man. Hey, that's what <laughs> got far as fucking you. real. The ruiner <laughs> of rhymes. He is the ruiner of right. He's also the ruiner of time because he can't fucking tell it. And that's why we're fucking doing this at 9.30 and I'm ready for bed for fuck. <laughs> I'm all right. pissed. It's difficult to work <laughs> out Cali time, all right? Yeah, well, we'll work on it later. Now, two separate teams. So tonight it's going to be Bagno and O'Shea versus Disaster and Lush One. Um, let's move the fuck on to round one before I change my mind about this whole thing. <laughs> Round one is Rhymes in the Wild. This is where each contestant is charged with finding two items that make the best rhymes that they can in real life from around their houses or wherever they are. Please, can you give us an example of this? I can. Here we go. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's go, okay, bro. So, I have a lint roll, so, and it leaves no residue. And down here, it tells you what the set includes. <laughs> then, I've been, going from, I've been going through my lost collection too. And this is the season where you can meet Desmond Hume and he's been pressing that button, execute. Mm. Yes, look at that. The vet we goo. Um, Man, I thought you just had to rhyme it one time, like one item with one item. I got to make a whole rap about no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's just showing off, mate. He's just showing off. He's being a, he's being oh. That was two items. I did two items. I did two items. Yeah, you was over there. But, man, that was a whole verse. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I, I, I can adjust. I, I can stretch it a bit. <laughs> stretch it a bit. <laughs> yeah. it, was in it was in between. It was conversational. It was conversational. <laughs> All right, now, now, Lush One, you're a man of the world. You're a businessman. What's been going on in your life lately? Talk to us, boy. Come on. So, you know, uh, I don't know if anybody was aware of the fact or not, but I had a slight little problem with substance abuse, you know, and... Uh, what? Yeah, I know. Crazy, How did you manage right? to keep it secret for... So I don't... I know, man. It was, it, it was on the I'm low, you feel me? It was on the low. But like that, that was the hardest thing because I didn't really advertise it too much. Now, nah, uh, so I went to treatment, got myself sober, um, clean as a whistle. Now you feel me? Check it out, clean as a whistle. And um, I'm working on a lot of moves, but got 
signed to a record label. I'm on a Who Mag distribution, cur uh, courtesy of Sony Orchard, and uh, been uh, hosting King of the Dot battles as well as doing a bunch of other things in battle rap and music beyond. Uh, I'm very, very happy, excited, got engaged. Shit's uh, Ooh, nice. all the way up, well, baby. Done, well done, Let's man. Let's fucking go, go bro. Let's go. Let's man. fucking that, go, bro. bro. Has that been like since lockdown that all, all that stuff has happened? Like, is that. <laughs> Here's the crazy thing, dude. Like, I went to treatment in February of 2020. So, like, the world was normal. I go into treatment, and while I'm in treatment, it's like apocalyptic Blade Runner society, like, erupts. And I, I come home. I, I was in treatment for four months because, you know, it, was, it might be surprising, but it was a slightly severe addiction. So, you know, some of us are sicker than others. Right. So after four months, I came out, and it was like Mad Max. Holy shit. Yeah. Man, well, well done though, man. I'm proud yeah, of you. That's incredible. Cool. Congratulations, Appreciate man. It's, it's, a, it's a hell of an achievement. But on to the important stuff. What's your rhyme in the wild? So my rhyme in the wild, um, I have here we go. The guy that's from the logo of Hawaiian Punch. And <laughs> that rhymes with uh, some slightly bummy Nike dunks. <laughs> Only that's slightly bummy. Hawaiian bummy. Punch Nike dunks. Only like slightly amazing. bummy. Right, Hawaiian man. punch and Nike dunks is so fire. Okay, so do I have to go? No, when are you guys? I'll get you go in a minute. I'll get you in a minute. First up is Osha, <laughs> and Osha, Osha, I want I want to say what the what the fuck happened to you last time you were on the show? I just chill in parks on a Sunday night, lad. You know what I mean? It's just what we do around here. Golly, one of them, lad. One of them. <laughs> Like, have you, have you got a better rhyme in the world than a fucking daffodil and a man of skill this time, then? Probably not, like, oh, I'm going to try. This is the mask of Black Panther, an RIP to my nan who had cancer. Fucking wow. hell. Wow. Fucking wow. hell. Wow. Fucking hell. I mean, tell me my son Finley. He's the coldest human being on oh earth. You just got to give him props for that one. Here's oh. my son Finley, the fat little oh. wanker. <laughs> Which which I don't one of the think rappers anyone's on gonna this, beat this? Which one of the rappers on this lost to the character called after this? That was disaster. You're a horrible partner. Sorry, man. <laughs> oh, oh my god. RIP Nan. My shit ain't <laughs> that yeah. fucking exciting. Oh, man. Man. Your whole family got roasted dead or alive. Is <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody gonna beat this shit well, hey, no, please remember that one all right next up yeah. is disaster so this is what i got oh god what's your rhyme oh, in the world come on the, well, that was it. i got the eiffel tower bruv <laughs> where'd you got that and my old trousers bruv <laughs> 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 oh. oh god does that mean yeah. you're sat there just in your pants hold on hold on hold on hold on I'll make a knife right out of the Eiffel Tower in my oh. old trousers, bro. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I fly out of the Pretty Eiffel good. Tower. Pretty good. So did that, if, if you angled the, the cam down, then would we see your bare legs? <laughs> Probably, bro. Yes, you would. Yeah, right. Fair enough. We'll, we'll say you that. Would. When we get That's because I'm wearing now. shorts, though. <laughs> <laughs> right. And bag note. Now, bag of ants. Um, we all we all met up for drinks last week, didn't we? The, the sounds like crew. We had a, we had a nice time. Did you enjoy yourself? We had a really nice time. You had too nice of a time, didn't you? I think there's, a, there's no limit on fun, <laughs> is there? Well, I think we got to, we, you. You refused service at the bar because you got yourself too drunk, didn't you? Good man. Whatever. Yeah, yeah I, was, <laughs> I was thinking of O'Shea. Well, well I, I went to the toilet when we got to the bar, came back, and the woman said, "Sorry, we can't serve you, mate. He can't sit in a chair." I was having trouble with a chair. You were having trouble, having trouble with a chair. Hundred percent true as well. That's hundred percent true. <laughs> yeah. Well, so had, still. yeah, I had a lovely time. You had to go home early, didn't you? I did have to. Leave. I did have to get myself off to bed. But then, um, <laughs> but then since then, I don't know if you if you've been like hungover or, or, or whatever. But like you, you sort of completely fucked up the timing of tonight's uh, event. So is that is that because your your brain is still a bit frazzled? Is it? Oh well, at least it didn't fuck up the night that we're all going to meet up and go out on. So we had a brilliant night. Well, was, we, we did. You, got, didn't you? you went home. Yeah, I was fine. Brit exactly. British conversations sound so polite. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, we just have a great we're night, bruv. We just human. Had it right yeah, if this was me and Diz, it'd be like, and your bitch ass ain't even pull up. 
Yeah, I'm basically, basically the same as I'm just punching my face. Lush, that version of our conversation is, yeah, lovely, oh, lovely, bro. No, I mean, you're just going to come through. You're going to come through. Yeah, we're going to come through. Just have a good old time. You know what I mean? You know, that's nice. That's nice. I love it. I love it. Don't you love it? Yeah, we love it. We love it. Uh, there's no reason to get homies. He was straight up Mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, Bax, what's your rhyme in the wild then? I got this, which is a book called The Screenwriting Course. Um, um, right, the other one I've got is um, a green dinosaur. Why does everyone have fucking dinosaurs? What is you, you guys are fucking weird, man. You guys are the weirdest the tower. fucking people the I've tower. ever seen in my fucking life, bro. This is a normal, like, it's a fashion statement and something that'll kill you if you play with me. You got oh, a dinosaur, man. bro. You got it, <laughs> like a toy dinosaur. You guys got toy dinosaurs. You guys got toy I don't know what that is. toy dinosaur. You guys are all, like, in on this shit together or something, man. <laughs> All right, so it's a green dinosaur in a screenwriting course. All dinosaurs are green, you piece of shit. Not all of them. That's not true. There's um. Do I we don't even know what dinosaurs are. Like. Oh, fuck you, Greg. Fuck you. Hey, Diplodocuses are blue, full Diplodocus yeah, they had or whatever they call. Hey, they all had fur, man. Fuck all of you. None this of one's them were gray. Like that. This one's gray <laughs> or slightly blue. That's the. I didn't know they wore ties. I didn't think they would be able. Oh, to. Oh no, that's that's from a classic TV show. So. Is it <laughs> This guy got a dinosaur collection, bro. Not the mama. Not the mama. <laughs> yes, thank you. Listen, I can do better than that. That's his catchphrase, not the mama. Well, are we now just going to be showing out. off dinosaurs? <laughs> this is crazy. Here we go. <laughs> this episode. Yeah. This is I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I feel like we're on the masked singer. What the <laughs> fuck? Oh, no. like everything from Jurassic Park, mate. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Right, rhymes right. in the wild. They did it, of course. Bleasy boy, give me the scores. And as always, if you could start, mate, with last place. First of all, rest in peace to your nan, O'Shea. I think you tried to guilt trip me there to give you the win, to be fair, mate. Sob story. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to go... OK, I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go Bagnall for... Right. O'Shea third. Disaster second. <laughs> Lush one with the win. That was nice. That was. I'll take it. So that I'll means we won. Impressive. I'm surprised O'Shea didn't win that. So many. I saw my family down the fucking swan today for that, and I haven't even won. My ma is going to be fucking furious with me. Am I <laughs> furious. <laughs> furious. Oh no! And I fucking I... came full fair. disclosure. I I, so I gave that to O'Shea. Executed his whole family for for the win, bro. Lush's one was sick. Yeah, Lush's was good. Yeah, man. Good. <laughs> Disasters was rubbish. Right, now, as we go through this episode, <laughs> we're going to be monitoring Twitter as well uh, because we have a challenge for everyone watching to work on as we go through this episode. So whomever can come up with the best rhyme for Billie Eilish will be our multi-monarch of the week. So get on Twitter and use the hashtag SoundsLikeShow and we'll be... I already got it. And we'll announce the winner at the end. I right, think she's we'll really Irish. <laughs> This isn't for you, all right? This is for the people at home. Let them oh, know. fuck. All right, fine. Sounds like a multi to me. Well, check it out. I'm well endowed. It's time for the second round, the quick fire rhyme game. Now, this is where I will give a team or a word or words and then a clue as to what rhymes with that thing. So you can't come up with just anything. You have to get the one from the clue. So if the rhyme scheme was bars and rapping and the clue was what's the worst thing about the movie bodied, the answer would be disasters acting. So <laughs> you piece of shit. start with O'Shea and Bagnall. <laughs> but as always, you can skip if you don't know, but give it a go, though. You have two minutes to get uh, as many answers as you can until we get to 50. 15. Mother and child. Now and then. Uh, once in a while. Correct. Um, stomach muscles. Play fighting. Um, uh, Sort and tussled. Oh, God, I don't know. Come on, you uh, cunts. <laughs> uh, pass, 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 pass. Skippy. Uh, bus stop. What O'Shea did halfway through the last episode. Fuck off. Cut off. You <laughs> fucked off. Uh, <laughs> what, I got cut off. <laughs> split. <laughs> Bagnell's hair. It's just split. Quiff. What? Shit. Wait, what? Shit. Correct. Shit. Um, uh, no. Next one. I don't think that. Losing balance. Talent show for sexiness. Um, Losing balance. Ta- oh, you've got talent? Oh, no. no. Uh, you Useless uh, talent? Not for you, disaster. 
I haven't got a clue. <laughs> oh, Matt Skip. Stoll. All right, Skippy. Um, okay, boiler pressure. Someone who's got lots of money. Boiler pressure. Um, oil oil investor. investor. You can't oil investor. Us. Oil investor. We can't answer unless it's for that. Oh. Got it. <laughs> lots of little round metal money. Um, coin dispenser. Mm. Coin investor. <laughs> coin. coin collector. Coin collector. Yeah. Coin, collector. Oh, coin collector. Right. Okay. Jonathan Ross. TV show. <sighs> Top of the pops. pops. Yep. Okay. Um, Top of the pops. Slim Shady. You already got it. Slim Shady. McDonald's burger. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Thirty seconds left. Poisonous lead. Your conscience. All in my head. Ooh. Uh, Poisonous no. lead. Noise in my head. Oh, no. So close. What is? What's your conscience? It's voice the, in your head. The voice in your head. No. All no. right. Uh, Noel Gallagher's bad attitude could crack a window. Three classic computer games. What? Four again, seconds please. left. No. No. Time. Time. Tough. What was it? What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Noel Gallagher, Soul Caliber. There he is. All right, please yeah. tell them what they missed. Uh, you skipped stomach muscles. And that was going to be rough, rough and tumble. tumble. Rough and tumble. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Rough and um, tumble. You skipped, you skipped losing balance. <laughs> what the joke fuck? Is sexiness, he says. That was beauty pageant. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, then you skipped the, 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 the 10 questions. So that was Noel Gallagher's bad attitude could crack a window. Oh, crash bandicoot. That bandicoot. was the free Soul games. Caliber. That's the biggest. Soul Calibur, crash, crash bandicoot. bandicoot. Don't know the other one. And Gran Turismo. Gran oh, Turismo. Oh. For crack oh. yeah. I couldn't get the one weird answers. There's no way that I was getting that. Man, I thought I was nerdy, but there's a whole nother level of nerd that I didn't even know about. <laughs> this is crazy. I can't keep up with this. Let's go. Swimming style. Uh, a stro a breaststroke. Breaststroke. Yeah. Um, music recital. American singer. Uh, Julia Stiles. No. Um, uh, uh, Julia Stiles. Right. I'll, I'll pass on. All right. Undergo, right. kick okay. the coffee table, or uh, dub my toe. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Uh, it's a waste of time. In friends, who do they spy on out the window? Um, in France, who do they spy on in out the window? Friends. In, in friends. Oh, in friends. The uh, What's a waste of time. The the neighbor guy. I'll no. watch friends. Yeah. Yeah. Son yeah. of a bit. All right. As happy as a clam. Football club. Um, uh, man, uh, happy as a clam. Yeah. You get God, fucking damn it, man! You'll be, you'll be pissed off for that one as well. All right, I'm going next. Sleeping bag. Hey, Ix there. Amsterdam. Ix Amsterdam, bitch. What is it? No, it's not. It's Ix not. Amsterdam. Nah. <laughs> go go go. Sleeping bag. Headwear. Huh? Sleeping bag, headwear. Beanie hat. Yeah. Okay, um, Wendy Darling, first machine called a bicycle. Um. Big wheel, little wheel. Oh yeah, I don't know what that thing's called. <laughs> skip, skip, skip. skip it. Right. Jack Reacher, a type of scarf. Uh. <laughs> yeah. All right, cut me some slack. Alien invasion. We are under attack. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's time. That's time. Cool, uh, lads. You know I had to get the alien one. <laughs> <That's good>. <laughs> <laughs> We're under attack. I only got oh. two out of fucking like ten. Holy yeah, shit! That was not the best show. I was expecting fucking fireworks from you guys, but I just got a wet match. Well, first of all, you you skipped music recital, and it, you said Julia. It was Julia Michaels. Mm. Oh shit! That, that chick. Yeah. The such a waste of time was who do they spy on out in the window in Friends? Ugly, ugly neighbor guy. guy. Yeah, um, naked guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the the happy as a clam. You uh -huh. Diz, you wear you wear this you wear the strip in your in your Instagram. What? Happy, I bet you pronounce Paris Saint Germain. 
Oh my! Oh, oh, oh. Saint Germain. Fuck. Yeah. It's pronounced it's Saint Germain. Germain. How you guys say it? It's pronounced Saint. Not. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, you're right. I, I, I just no, say for show Paris, is. I just say Paris Saint Germain, like how like they say it, like. But yeah, yeah. like yeah, pa- it's, it's Paris because I say Paris Saint, Saint Germain, Germain, like yeah, like how they say. It. But like no, I. That's Damn, a good they one, just though. we I just got the New that. York Yankees wrong. They said Los Angeles Lakers, and we missed it, bro. You're not a <laughs> soccer player at all. Yeah, Wait, it's, it's called, yeah, no, nah, I mean, but like the thing is that IX Amsterdam kind of rhymes with it too. That's like, not bad. Know. Maybe, it's maybe not bad. it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, maybe so we'll give him a half point for that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a half point. Damn, we're getting the pity <laughs> points. We're getting the pity points. <laughs> <We're getting laughs> Come it on, down. man. It's still right. I'll round it down. Yeah, the Wendy Darling was the first machine to be called a bicycle. It was oh, the yeah. penny farthing. The farthing, yeah. Penny farthing, yeah. Um, <laughs> Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher, type of scarf, was a pashmina. Mm. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> Lush would know he wears the play. things. I, I didn't know what that was called, but now, now I need to buy a bunch more stuff. Thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, that's a yeah, thing. seriously. Now you just got Lush on a shopping spree. Now, Diz, uh, for, for many people who won't know who you are, which is probably most people on here, you're one of the more controversial <laughs> characters in Battle Rap. Why do you think that is? What, what, why do you think you're known as such a controversial figure? I feel like I always have no filter and I don't really watch what I say based on like what people are going to react to me. And most people, they're always like that. 99% of people, if they feel a certain way, they're not going to say it. And I'm just kind of just really polarizing and that's the effect I get. I either get people that really, really love me or people that really hate me. Were you like that before battle rap was a thing or like, did it come from that? Um, no, I'd say battle rap made it more for sure. I wasn't like that before battle rap that much. Like the confidence that like, did you gain a lot of confidence from it? And it sort of came from that. From battle rap? Yeah. Obviously I got a lot of confidence well, from th- it. There is no that. before battle rap for Diz. He was serving motherfuckers in preschool. Quit playing. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is I've been rapping for so long. The before is like, bro, like I, you know I mean? I don't remember the before yeah, like most people life, do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Re- before basically you're telling me, what do you remember from 13, 14 and, and under? Right. That's right, right. what before is for me. You know what I'm saying? Before is different for me than it is for a lot of people. Do you miss doing two on twos with cyanide? <laughs> First of all, I got stuck with him. Don't be fucking cracking jokes. Se- <laughs> second of all, that was a learning experience. When I look back, it was a fun thing, man. But yeah, it was torture. And, the, and, the, and, the, and you know, experiencing it was pretty fucked up. <laughs> Lush, do you miss battling? Um, no, nah, not really, because like I still, um, I still rhyme all the time. You know what I mean? I get my fix off of making music and being like so immersed in battle rap culture regardless yeah. you know what i mean like and, and the sports really like what battling is now what y'all do is a so far evolved from the battle rapping i did like just right. not even just stylistically but the amount of pressure and all that it takes and like the amount of like scrutiny you're under like i have so much respect for the gladiators of the modern era but you know like it's cool to, it's I'll be like, a, I won't say that I'm like the Babe Ruth of this thing, but I was like, you feel me? I was like the, the, the Paolo Babe Rossi. Bruce. I was like the Paolo Rossi of this thing. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> More people I don't know. All right, well, next up is round 2.5. Uh, this is called Ladies and Gentlemen. Ladies and Gentlemen? It's called Ladies and Gentlemen. Which runs because I serve America. so many cats, I should be famous at Wimbledon. <laughs> Native <laughs> American. There we go. Native, Native American. American. Classic. Yeah. Make me uh-huh. the press. Remember when Reagan's the president? <laughs> Raping an elephant? I suppose that's their <laughs> problem, isn't it, Jose? In comes up. Sounds like a monkey to me. So what I've done is I've gone through a couple of battle rappers and I've swapped their gender and you've got to tell me who it is. Now who's this? <laughs> Don't Lizzo? Know. Huh? Is that Lizzo? No, this 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 is a man who I've done a gender swap. Oh, with on oh, oh. <laughs> like is that Arsenal? Awesome? <laughs> oh my um, god, it's yeah, it's yeah, awesome. definitely <laughs> Arsenal. <laughs> definitely <laughs> ours. That is funny. That is Arsenal. I don't like this show, He's bro. Not. I want out. I want out. <laughs> Who's that? Dumbfounded. Dumbfounded. <laughs> is dumbfounded. Hey, if you didn't want me, I'm knocking all you out when I see. How <laughs> is dumbfounded for, for no dumbfounded is bad. 
I'm oh, telling yeah. you, I better not see a bitch this that looks jazz. like jazz. jazz. <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> Madness. Yeah. 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 <laughs> The stores. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would definitely be at that on the show. Hey, can, can you send me the pic of Dumbfounded, please? Oh, no, I, no, don't worry. I'm going to pick it out. I'll send it to you by air mail. I've got it under my pillow. I, I, look, I always, I always knew madness was thick, but I didn't know madness was thick. <laughs> you're, you're, right, okay. you're a fucking twat. <laughs> so let's see what some people have said for... Uh, for Billie Eilish, right, okay. You get hit with high kicks in your side ribs until you get revived with that friggin' Heimlich. That's nice. All right, um, sins and vices. To be honest, I love the show, but the Skippy's childish. Someone in the chat over here said gingivitis, which I thought was great. Right, someone's put Willie Heinrich, silly high jinx. Oh. Billie Eilish is pretty stylish. That's classic. I'm in a crisis. In, indecisive is good. Mm -hmm. Indecisive I like is a nice little one word. Someone's put Billy Eilish, silly white bitch. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. That's a multi in the wild right there, damn near. Like. <laughs> O'Shea has seemingly disappeared again. O'Shea is like in, a, in his cabin, his like vacation cabin or something. Like, so it's he's, like gone he's, a, he's gone back to the park. He's just messaged me and said something's come up. I've, Kruger, can you jump on? Some things Kruger. come up. That's all he's saying. What came up was that picture of Dumbfounded. He needed to handle that. <laughs> oh, hello. Yes. Kruger, you turn my little cherry bee. My little cherry bee. <laughs> Fucking Krugs. Yes. What's good, Lust? Okay. Don't play, boy. <laughs> Bruh. Look at um, the goat. Holy good. shit. Is that the goat <laughs> right there? <laughs> Sounds like a multi to me. Okay, we move now on to round three. This round is called Count Up. I'm going to give everybody 30 seconds to come up with a setup on a punchline which needs to keep to a scheme made by Bleezy and me. At the end of that 30 seconds, Ooh. we're going to perform them for Bleeze to rank from first to worst. Okay, so Bleeze, what's the scheme that they're writing from today? So we're we going for top of the charts. Top of the top charts. Top of the so charts. You don't have to use that word. Or that term, but you can if you want, as long as there's a setup and a punchline. You've got 30 seconds starting from now. What does it sound like? What does it sound like? What is it? It's top of the charts. Oh, I didn't fucking hear you. You've got oh, 15 man. seconds left oh, now. Yeah. Top of the charts, just a, a you know, punchline, just one line, two lines. All right, five, four, three, two, one, time! <laughs> Hands up, Hands up like this. Diz, I see you scribbling. <laughs> there we go. All right, Kruger, what did you get written, mate? I said, where's O'Shea? Either he got lost in the park, or he's somewhere and he dropped a log on a shark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is no fucking beating that. That is, that is really good. All right, Lush, what have you, what have you got, mate? It, talking about songs that's on top of the charts y'all know me when y'all get shot through the heart i ain't talking bon jovi Damn. Uh, <laughs> let's go yes all right yes. all right this what did you get all right i ain't gotta tell people i'm at the top of the charts because i'll be walking the walk i'm not gonna make no when i usually when i open my mouth i'll be making awkward remarks so for now i'm not gonna talk <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice, nice. All right, and Liam, how did you manage to fuck this up? Um, I well, I have a similar rhyme, but I said, um, O'Shea's the type of person who gets lost in a park and has the hots <laughs> for a shark, and doesn't he kind of look like he watches the darts? <laughs> <laughs> All facts. He does look like I don't know what that darts. is. But he does he look looks like he watches darts. That is right. That is, that is, yeah. All right, very, very good. Okay, please. Uh, what did you, what did you make of that round? Who's, who's last? Fourth. Although I love the darts reference, Bagnall. Really? Oh, third. Really? I thought it was sick. Yeah, yeah. It was good. I like, I like the darts reference though. I love that. Um, I've always thought that. Um, third, <laughs> disaster. <laughs> Second, Kruger. 
first lush one. He had the little internal oh, with the Bon Jovi. Y'all know me, Bon Jovi. Killed it. We uh, win nice. again. Nice. That was nice. Shit. Disaster and Lush, this comes up each episode, so I guess I'll ask you guys, what's your favourite rhyme that you've ever either heard in a, in a rhyme or a, or a rap or that you've said yourself in a, in, a, in, a, in a sort of piece? I was thinking about this, like, I feel like I've talked MF Doom, as far as MCs go, he is like the, the king of multi-syllabics, like, right. nobody freaks it like him. But as far as battles and just overall, one of the, my favourite rhymes that stuck with me to this day was a rebuttal that Franco had in a freestyle battle in 2005. Oh, and somebody yeah. uh, told, I think Presence, yeah, Presence. So you know what Presence oh, looks like. Some of y'all yeah. might, you feel yeah. me? Shady hairline, like, like kind of blondish yeah. hair. Well, like I'm Presence old. Yeah, yeah, I'm Presence old for sure. He said, Franco looked like Harry Potter, right? So Franco said, Harry Potter, that's a good comparison for starters, motherfucker. You look like Woody Harrelson's retarded younger brother. <laughs> Good comparison for starter motherfucker, Woody Harrelson's retarded younger brother. That's, that's crazy. Amazing. That's, that's a long one. Good. As, as that's a, a rebuttal. That's, as, a, as a rebuttal. Yeah. That's too much. Yeah. yeah. That's Franco was that's nuts. different, that's man. Fire. All right, Diz, what's yours? I can't really think of some shit off the top right now. I thought that's your whole thing, isn't it? Like one of my my own, I could probably think of. I can't remember some other shit right now. Yeah, go on. What's what's the best one that you've ever said? Hey, that or, I've ever said some. the the scheme that I had against Pat Stay, where I was talking about like trapped in a lucid dream, strapped to a huge machine, and I and I finished that off with like knocking white heads out like acne removal cream. Woo! Well, yeah, that whole entire scheme is probably my favorite scheme I ever wrote. That was maybe. Really good, yeah, that's crazy. I also yeah, like because the, look, bro. I rhymed it, like, I'm trying to remember, like, the beginning of it, but it was like, I'll show up to Alexander Keith's factory brewery, and it was like, I rhymed it with animal cruelty, and That's fucking, it. I'm not even an actual human being, I'm a walking Hannibal movie scene, fucking, like, the walls collapse, I, I'm trying to remember it, because it's just so, it was so complex, and I can't even remember the whole thing, but it was What's so, so dope different. about what Diz does, and, like, a lot, you know, Kruger does this too. Shuffle does this too, actually. But my favorite thing as far as um, when people rhyme multisyllabics is when you're not using forced phrases, when you're right, using right, phrases right. that like you actually say in common speech and it's not mm. like, you know what I mean? This is not yeah, because like, look, even the word, the way I slid in animal cruelty, it's because I was telling him you're my golden retriever. And then I say, I That's say, right. um, I say, watch Lassie get neutered. I called him Lassie and I said, watch <laughs> Lassie get neutered. And then hand me my jewelry. This shit, go, like, hand me the chain. Yeah. Like, and this gonna be an act of animal cruelty. And and then mm. it just kept on going. Mm. And it was like, yeah. it was a two two minute and seventeen second scheme or some shit. Like on the same multi. I've done the multi for three minutes and forty five seconds before. That is crazy. crazy. Yeah. I'm surprised you haven't done one for seventeen minutes, knowing you, mate. Huh? <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't done a 17 minute multi scheme knowing you. Yeah. I mean, done, have you ever done a whole round on one scheme? Yeah. I have in multiple battles, I think. Like, I think in the Aver battle, I think I did that where I just like probably just said a couple of things and then just like the 90% of the round was one scheme. Mm. And I've done it before, like in big battles where just chunks of like a big ass round will just yeah. be like a whole entire fucking like thing and it just inner patterns well that would be your know, style it would be like it's like right freestyles that. that connect different i just need it like, to be relevant yeah. to the person or i just won't put the word there like for yeah, me exactly. like it's about how relevant it is like the reason why i would come up with you know what rhymes with unanimous and it had to be huge fan of Diz because Ooh, if yeah. it didn't Love if it one. doesn't make sense then i won't use it in every yeah. person's name i came up with with something that like if you notice any person i ever told hey you know what rhymes with this like the, what i say to it has to be extremely relevant and that's yeah, the point yeah. of this a, that's exactly. a class well, and train that track? the whole like you know what rhymes yeah. with a da, 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 da. class and train tracks i think that was the first one uh, what did you say when did it start when the did first, it start the one what was the first one yeah, that yeah. Did? yeah no but what was the first exact i think said, it was a class battle a class and train tracks it was it was either a class or H, it, it was around the H class and HFK battles. You did yeah. it, A class was first. You did A yeah. class before HFK because A class was 2010. 100% HFK. Lush, because yeah. the HFK one was the second time I did it because I was remixing it still. Mm. I was like, 
because I told A class, you know what rhymes with uh, train track? Uh, you know what rhymes with um, with A class train tracks? How great's and that? Mm. Yeah. Great that, right? Yeah. But like the the whole point was then when I battled the Middle Eastern dude, I was like, I have to come up with something the same. So I was like, Arab and plane crash, and mm. that's. That's when I was like, you know what rhymes with a rap? The fucking plane crash, oh, you know? Shit, yeah. That went off though. Like everyone was doing their own. Do you know what rhymes with it? It's still today people yeah. do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Every, everybody does one. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure like a really famous fucking rapper did it recently and I, I need to remember who did it. Yeah. Like, you, know, you don't know who did it? It was the food schnickens. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we move now into round four. Now, this is always on a specific theme. And before you answer, you have to raise your hand and say, sounds like, and I will choose who gets to answer first. So last week, the theme that we did was comic book characters. But what have we got this week? My bleason to live. We're going for dog this week. We're going for dog breeds, okay? Dog breeds. Oh, so you'll okay. be quite good disaster. You just mentioned Lassie, so I think you'll know your stuff. For, for example, as a test troll, if you were looking for a dog breed that rhymes with Miss Q, um, what sounds was that? like Shih Tzu. All right, sounds like Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. I mean, you have to do yeah, the sounds like you lost a point. Picks, otherwise, you'll lose a point. You lost a point. Right, I do take those points. Right. Right. Well, it sounds all like. like all right, now I've got ten questions. Fastest sounds like first. First one, full stop. Sounds like sounds like yeah. bulldog. Correct. Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Right, uh, doggy paddle. Sounds like sounds like, like Kruger. Oh, I think that was disaster. What? I said it first. Oh, it was Kruger. Right? That was disaster. That was Kruger. I think I'm it was Kruger. I'm going with Diz. I'm going with Diz. No, it was me. All right. Well, I'm, I'm saying, saying Kruger. Diz. What? What are you saying? Cocker spaniel. Yeah. Yeah. That's that was Kruger. Love Body bagnell. Bagnell. I'd love ah. it. Body bagnell. I love it. Body bagnell the cocker spaniel. All right. <laughs> Cheers, guys. All right. But Port it's not potty. a mammal. <laughs> Pour a potty. Pour a potty. You're looking for a doggy. Ah, uh, they've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like uh, this. Border collie. Yeah, correct. Excellent work. I was thinking Yorkie collie. <laughs> <laughs> Yorkie <laughs> Scotty <laughs> border <laughs> collie. Yeah, Yorkie crossbreed with a border collie. <laughs> All right, take <laughs> aim. Take aim. Sounds, sounds, sounds like, like. Sounds like. Ooh, that sounds was like Great Dane. That was correct. Me. He said Kruger. <laughs> you gotta listen to the shuffle. You Ooh, gotta listen man. to the shuffle. Went there. Fuck. All right, bank account. I'm on your team anyway, bro. Don't bank account. Out. Sounds like. Kruger again. Basset hound. Oh my God. Mm. He's right. He's right. Yeah, All right. Um, Dodger Stadium. Sounds like. Oh, Lush. Pomeranian. Yeah, Come on, man. Ooh, yeah. That's nice. Come on. Yeah. I had to do it for the home team. All right. Dude. Packet noodles. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, it sounds like. like. I think that was just this. What? Got this. A poodle? No, it sounds like Ooh, it sounds no. like John Bagnell Labradoodle Labradoodle oh, Labradoodle. Labradoodle. <laughs> I was thinking Poodle as well. I was like, what is I the Diz just said Poodle. Like, poodle. poodle. <laughs> half a Poodle. I have a Poodle. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a dog. <laughs> All right, uh, back muscle, back muscle. Oh, it sounds like Kruger, Jack Russell. Correct. Yeah. My oh, God, he's on it. All right, more the merrier. It sounds like Bagnell, Yorkshire Terrier. Mm, yeah. Nice. Come on. Fucking pieces of shit. All right. <laughs> what about last one? Right. Traffic Warden's Meter. Traffic Warden's Meter. I suppose it's more like Traffic Warden's Meter. Sounds like. Yeah. Labrador Retriever? Yes, and Lush, you very nearly lost a fucking point there, boy. Yeah. Just before we move, we've got another round, obviously. We've got last round, round five. I just wanted to check something, though. Another little sort of mini game that we can all play. This right. is mostly for Bagnall's sake. So, um, <laughs> what is that, Bagnall? Can you, can you do that for us? 
That is that's ten to one. Mm, yeah, well, it's, it's sort of eleven and a half to one, isn't it? All right, fine. <laughs> What's that? Uh, that is twenty-seven to eleven. Mm, yeah, I think that's about. Yeah, I'll call that. Yeah, okay. What's that one? Uh, that is twenty to twelve. And that one. That is one twenty-three. So how did you fuck it up so badly then? Um, if you can tell the time, then why did you fuck the time up on this one? So I'm here. It's ten thirty p.m. Our time. I'm ready for bed. I've had my tea. Um, I just. I, I or is it just negligence? It's not. It's not that you don't know it. It's that you can't be fucked. <laughs> Yo, you're the funniest human being I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Sounds like a me. We move on to round five of Sounds Like. Large in charge, it's bar for bar. <laughs> now, round five is where we put two plays against each other to have a direct rhyme off on a rhyme scheme by me and my guy, Bleez. You'll be paired up with a minute and a half of uninterrupted back-to-back -back lines. If you can't continue, then you are disqualified. If you make it through the one and a half minutes, then it'll be up to Bleez to analyze the blueprints and decide on who wins. We're gonna have uh, Kruger okay. versus Lush One. Okay. It's uh, me versus Tears. Fuck off. Him, um, please. Their one is going to be over and out. I would like Lush one to start. Um, you've got a minute and a half. Three, two, one. One bar each. Go. I used to be an alcoholic, but I'm the soberest now. Um, maybe you should show me your house. <laughs> <laughs> um, my future generations got cloned in her mouth. <laughs> Who's? Who's this fan? Well, to be honest, I don't even know what that's about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm knowing the crowds in Oakland are loud. Um, I can't even think of anything. I might need to throw in a towel. <laughs> I'm, I'm wearing some gear that hoes can't pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, yo. You better be, if they can't do it, then you better be showing them how. I mean, she used to be a good girl, but she's hoeing it now. <laughs> That's a hoe twice. But so wait, she just be going, going around and going around and going around. <laughs> hey, I used to smoke big L's, so I'm holding it down. Woo! And yeah, I smoke big L's. That's why I'm smoking an ounce. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I got love for my British homies because they know them for the style. <laughs> style. <laughs> yeah, and I, I got a, I got a lot of weight. I'd be holding the pounds. <laughs> All right, time, 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 time. Okay, wow. That was a good one. The big L bar was the bar of the whole thing. I'm not going to lie. No, nah, bro, that, that was an honor to play bar pong with Krugs. Come on, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> we might need to do that for us, for some old folks in the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Let's go, my turn. <laughs> who do you think won that, Brit, please? Before we move on to the next guys, who won that? Yeah, absolute pleasure to watch that was. Yeah, but Lush, Lush got it, man. It's Lush. Oh, exactly. And that is five points. Yeah. To, of course, amazing. Big L, the Big L bar was beaut. So now it is Disaster versus Bagnall. Which fuck me. This is this is first gonna be brilliant. It's also I think Bagnell's just gonna be fighting against an erection the whole time because he's so excited about it. All right. Um, that's, that's, that. that's weird. That's I'm weird. coming up with the words. You're, no, not, you're not because that right. would ruin Yeah, I am fucking no, you're you're cheating. You already have your fuck shit that. set up. I don't have anything. Your rhyme set scheme up. is I'm coming up with the word. Your rhyme I'm, scheme. I come up with a word. Bagnell don't know shit about it. I don't know shit. Oh what's what's your rhyme scheme? What's the rhyme scheme, please? So their rhyme scheme is that I made up that Bagnell doesn't know is couple of weeks, Bagnell couple of weeks. Anything he could, we could have given this. Bagnell gets still fucked in his cheeks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, okay. I want disaster to start first. Three, two, one, go. It was a couple of weeks. Bagnell gets fucked in his cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't you act in that cover of Greece? <laughs> no, but you went to Spain and they jacked Whoa. your camera and you had to run to police. <laughs> um, uh, well, I had to go to GoFundMe and they come up with the fees. 
Mm. Nice. Come up with the feast. That's why you always fucking juggled nuts on your knees. <laughs> Is that why? That's why? <laughs> um, I, I swear you're the one who's loving dudes under the sheets. <laughs> yeah, that's why you were the one that got caught listening to SWV. No! <laughs> hey, fire. You look like a guy who goes to Comic Con with a sign that says "Cuddles are free." <laughs> <laughs> he does look like that. Oh, you look it. like the same dude that would go to that Comic Con dressed up as an astronaut, talking about gay rides on the shuttle for free. <laughs> um, <laughs> the setups are so long with this. Um, I'm, I'm, hey, two seconds. I'm loving the freeze. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm Doesn't matter. What did he say? She heard me. That sounded like nothing to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two, one, time. Oh, him. oh. oh no, go on, go on, bad. Now, what were you going to say? Uh, I was going to say, um, all, all I'm hearing when you speak is nothing but cheese. <laughs> Terrible. I wish you didn't say it. We should didn't say it. We should didn't say it. We should didn't say it. You should let him off on that one. Fuck's sake. Yo, that was fire. Amazing. Oh my god. That was fun. All right, please. Who, who won that one? Who won that one, please? Now let's hear something from Amazing. Blaze. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what shuffling Blaze? Yeah. Um who won it, my G. <laughs> right. Crumpets and teeth. <laughs> without brushing, without I don't know why we're giving them all teeth. this extra time. Surely you don't need extra time, please. I mean, that's the stuff. No, no, no. I'm just, oh, no, I was, was just going to say that. I'll make sure. It was Bagnall one. I was going to make sure. That I'm incredibly proud of Bagnall. That's what I was going to say. Thank you. That was the best fucking round I have seen from Bagnall easily. You redeemed yourself. That was crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. People are saying OT. Um, I'm... Should we OT it? Or should we OT, 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 OT. We have one bar OT. That's all you I get. already won, fuck the OT. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Go on, OT for the people. The people want OT. OT for the people. Oh, Everyone's on. saying OT. All I want is, okay, what I want is two back to either, and there's no time limit, two lines each. So, Bagnall, you get... You come up with, with a set what, of punch what rhyme? Same rhyme? Same rhyme. No, I'll give you a different rhyme. A new one. Okay. I'll give you a different rhyme. Um, you come up with a setup and a punchline, and then Diz is going to respond. All okay. right, please. What 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 rhyme scheme should we give him? Do you reckon about Vans off the wall? Michael Jackson off the wall, maybe. Off the wall. Do you reckon the wall? Okay. Bad uh, right. No hesitation. Now, what have you um, got? Uh, if we got a brawl, you know you won't win because you're not as tall. I'll hit you in the head with the thing that your shirt represents, a soccer ball. That's not bad. I love the no. idea you're going to hit him on the no. head with a soccer you ball. Like a this. You say it like this. I'm off the wall like a soccer ball. Do you got bars? No, not at all. I just got off the phone with your mom on conference call and she wants to be my Halle Berry inside a monster's ball. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, to be fair, though, Why, too, many, uh, too many rhymes. Conference too many rhymes. call and yeah, monster's ball. Come it was meant, on. It meant to be two. The, the so, conference, it was the conference call for me. Well, conference call and monster's it, ball. It was going to be Why a set and punch. It was too much. Oh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take the L <laughs> in the generous way. I'll take the L. Please, do you think that is... That is, that is a Diz win. Was that a Diz win? Coming, to, coming down to the OT, it's, it's clearly this disaster, isn't it? But, you know, yeah, it was, yeah. it's probably one of our best bar for bars. Diz, do you, are you going to battle again or are you done? I'm enjoying the vacation life, bro. No, nah, I mean, you kind of done everyone, right? He's a slut. He is a slut, yes. I often say that. You haven't battled, I've me, battled everyone on earth. Yeah, how come you haven't battled Shuffle before? Why has that not happened? How come I haven't battled who? What do you mean, oh. who? <laughs> who? Who? Who, indeed? Y you? Shuffle T. Yeah, because you've always acted Hollywood, fool. You know how many times I've hit you up in the past? I'm not interested. You mark? You're lucky I'm coming on the show. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many times I've told people, like, man, that's like my favorite guy right now out there. Nothing from you and Marlo. Not even a response. No, no, I'm acting like you acting like they too cool to respond to me lush man i'm gonna beat them up hey, hey, I, I give dude shuffle though shuffle saw the real la shuffle and marlo oh, landed man. at the airport 
I swooped these motherfuckers up, you feel me? Brought them right to the hood. I brought them 5,700 block Clemson. We were posted up, you feel me? OG gangbanger ass shuffle for a cigarette. Yeah, it was like, that, that was one of my favorite moments. Like it was, it was just like proper just houses like uh, surrounding us. And I couldn't yeah. see any of the windows. And all of a sudden I just hear, and y'all got a cigarette? And I'm like, <laughs> and I went, yeah. And then the door just like pounds open. He comes over, he goes, thanks. And then goes back in his house and I'm like, that was the most polite mugging I've ever been a part of. <laughs> no, it, it was like, like you, you, got like some, you earned some street cred. That was like, that was ill. We was posting the baby projects. That's my little neck of the woods over there. Then we took these fools straight to Beverly Hills yeah. to a boardroom <laughs> meeting. You, it was, it's, yeah, yeah, we're ch chopping it up with Alki, do, you know, doing big boss player moves. Shit was great. We're in traffic for hell long. Then took them back to the hotel. Then, then, then later on, they they popped up in the rolling '60s hood at the Black Panther headquarters to watch a battle. Shuffle a piggyback Shuffle ride from Carter Deems. Shuffle had a real LA experience. You can't even. Oh my those god! Massive cans of of beer that are just like enormous. Like Tall the boys. biggest things I've ever had, and and I drank like two of them and was fucked. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I, th I, I think when shuffle, shuffle Shuffle got back, he said to me, "I think I met a criminal when he was with you." I think that was how he explained it. Because <laughs> <'Cause laughs> the thing, like, hey, 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 Alki like is a criminal, right? No, nah, fucking, <laughs> no. Nah, like at the end of the day, no one could ever say that that wasn't an authentic Los Angeles experience. Oh, 100%, a lot of people man. just go. See the fuck, so you know sick. what I'm saying? Hollywood sign or some bullshit. This fool really saw them sections. That's true like because that. most battle rappers just hide in the hotel out here. Yeah, exactly. We were, yeah, we were in Inglewood. I was out there. I was representing. Yep. I wasn't scared of shit. Yeah, he was in the mix. Mm. I was <laughs> Well, you was like, in, in case anyone ever stepped to him, he'd be like, hey, the Union Jack got red and blue in it. You, feel <laughs> <it>? <laughs> you know what rhymes with shuffle tea? Thanks for politely mugging me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I've collated the points. I've gone through them all. Diz and Lush have 31 and a half points. Oh, they the another. winners. Oh, don't forget that half a point. Well, yeah, 31 <laughs> and a half points. Um, it's important. Congratulations. It's important. Congratulations to, to those guys. You win two middle fingers up from everyone else. Uh, just before we finish, we'll have a final look through some of the audience's suggestions for Billy Eilish on Twitter. So I'm going to go through that. Mystic Sidekick. When I grip a tight list and shimmy like this with slim and lithe hips, it's too complicated. The grip of Heimlich. Business mileage. Uh, getting by with silly mindless little lies is not a good thing to live your life with. All you know, I'm the king at rhyming. Sick what I bring, but etc. Right. Are any of these jumping out to you? Was that ginger virus? Business I, I, I still yeah, ginger, ginger virus, virus was the hottest one to me. Yeah. So okay, was that someone in the chat? Oh, okay, Ganja Dealer. It was Ganja Dealer, uh, Jolie. That's brilliant. Okay, perfect. What was uh, what was close though? Indecisive was pretty nice. Indecisive. Indecisive was nice. Yeah. Because you okay, yeah, because so it's like um, so you say uh, like Billy. I'm um, indecisive. I buy clothes in different sizes, big and stylish, like Billy Eilish. Nice. Mm. Quite nice for me. I really, I really wish I split her hymen. Indian <laughs> pirates. <laughs> so our multi monarch of the week is Ganja Dealer Jolie. Uh, if you think you can do any better, then leave your rhyme in the comment section below underneath this video, and we'll have a look through some of them on our next week's live show. Uh, congratulations again, and thanks everybody at home for watching. Thanks to our guest, Bagnell Disaster. No, Love don't leave yet. Oh, no. for a little bit. No, Kruger. no. Make no, sure to follow leave. us on Twitter, YouTube, and no. Instagram. It's at Sounds Like Show. Be <laughs> sure to join us in two weeks' time and make sure to watch our <laughs> previous episodes on YouTube. Thank you and good night. <laughs>
skill set that's used like a, something similar to alliteration and other devices. It's just like a literary device. It go it predates hip hop. You know what I mean? Like, and you could even hear it. You could hear it in other genres of music too. Like, listen to like pop music from the early '80s. I, what always stuck out to me, uh, that group Squeeze had that song "Tempted." Tempted by the fruit of another, hmm. tempted, but the truth is discovered. You feel oh, me? Like, shit. so, like, I they're didn't like, even caught the multi in that one. That's the same yeah, thing. exactly. I, I, that always yeah, stuck so out to me. He, he now, took I, it I all like, the way um, back. Yeah. Back in the 80s, you would hear Big Daddy Kane was one of the first I ever heard flip it with right, Brother Man cool. and Understand. You yeah, know what I mean, mm. it was that's one of the very yeah. first ones. But although I will agree that it got really and popularized then it got into in the West Coast. By artists, I mean Rakim and Big Daddy Kane. Cool G rap, like G rap, G rap for sure. Right, what I was, what, what I was gonna say is, is, is to answer Kruger's question like very briefly. What I feel like, because you're giving us a fucking crazy yeah, history, yeah, lesson, which is true, which is that. real. Kind of, no, yeah. but it's all real shit. That's how it really started. But I feel like the West, it took from basically what the West is. Is there was a period of time where we're like. Before, like the gangster shit really got crazy, you have yeah, to understand Dell that cool rap, r- yeah. And then, and then, but, but even the, I think it's more of freestyle West, fellowship, freestyle fellowship here. But the West also t- like knowing that the East Coast, like it was, it was just that, it was, it was the original East Coast that the West Coast became developed like and started appreciating, and then the gangster shit like took over, and then basically like you see the West brought back that fucking appreciation for it. The East Coast mm. never got back to it. They're basically mm. completely, they're removed from Wu-Tang and Killer Bees and fucking all the shit that used to be like when cannabis came out and there was Big L and we're talking mm. about like all, like even Big Pun, you see how lyrical they was. I think that's where the multi-syllabics really stemmed from and stayed yeah. in battle rap. It, 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 it got it, epitomized in the East Coast by like- Right, like but it crept the- in. During the Dipset era too, like in the early two yeah. thousands, like they yeah. pushed like Dipset and like half of G Unit, I would say, are really banks. You know what I mean? Like, Bank, yeah. and then obviously like Jada and other fools were pushing yeah. that line hard. But really, no, like to to, to summarize it in short, started with Rakim, G Rap, and Kane, yeah. and then yeah. got popularized through like Hyro and Freestyle Fellowship and different West Coast rappers in the early 90s. Corrupt was super, super, super lyrical. And then you got to understand how it got into the battle rap world too. It went through by means of like that Chino XL and Crooked Eye, like when they, when they got on the radio together and like, it was, it was that back in like that world, there was still an appreciation for the multi-syllabics and that was around the time that Eminem then came and popularized the fuck out of it. Mm. And then it just became... Their freestyles yeah. on the wake up show. Do you know what one right. boy I always loved from? Um, I think it was Crooked Eye. And I think he was ciphering with uh, Chino XL. And he's like, You better be able to dodge bullets like the Matrix or take six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thought, oh, yeah, that, yeah, was yeah. Cold. that was the first that time people cold. were doing shit like that. People yeah. weren't doing shit like that. Kruger, mm. like, what, what, you know, so, I, people don't like to credit Eminem. And what I will give credit to Eminem for is he made it really easy to follow the multis. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to like be super abstract minded to even hear them. They'd be right there in front of your face. I think yeah, he was consistent with it. Do you know who else was uh, outsiders, which he to rap with as well like they were that's bang on that multi-syllable from, show shit. yeah young z young that z i think is a very z underrated yeah he's, he, he's yeah. so don't good be, at multi yeah he's underrated but, shit, but yeah. what i fuck with young z for it's like like and where i see multis at right now are the slant rhymes and things that aren't obvious multis and outside yeah. the box and fools yeah. like young z really popularize that it's coming me? Like back to, around though it's coming back around like i feel like it's becoming more acceptable to to have patterns in your shit now when you're rapping and like it's just yeah. coming back to that era i feel like it's just like, like young z rhymed to- hair dryers and weird science yeah you yeah, feel me? Like, yeah like it, it, it's a super slant you know what i mean yeah but yeah, yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Not- eminem did that a lot too though yeah that's why that's where he got it a lot. Yeah, 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 a lot. 